Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. <laughs> I always like to pause when I say David. We're going to make some goulash tonight. Maybe different than everybody else's, I don't know, but here we go. I got my hamburger cooking because I just, you know, just got it cooking, that's it. And I'm going to tell you what I got in this pot over here. I'm just trying to let my tomatoes and everything cook together a little bit, which it will in there, but... I just like to mix it in and let them peppers and stuff start cooking. So what I've got is a pack of mushrooms, one can of corn, two cans of chopped tomatoes, and uh, a medium onion and a medium pepper, bell pepper of your choice, whatever color you want. I got green because that's what I had. So we got our hamburger cooking. I just like to let this marinate together there some. But I do want to put some of this in there. I've got something all over it. This is roasted garlic and herb. Wouldn't I know it? It won't fit in there. That one will. I'm going to aim for a teaspoon, but I may not put that much. I'm going to just see. Oh, what the heck, just put it right. <laughs> that may not even be enough. Hold on a second. But this is not supposed to be terribly expensive, you know. And That was bothering me sticking up on. Well, I would have got it. And so, I just put some roasted garlic and herbs. You can put what you want to, plus I added a little extra garlic. Um, let me see. And some salt and pepper. I'm just going to shake some salt in here. Because I don't salt, I don't put so much salt in my, it looks like there's a pile coming out, but it is. I may going to put a little bit of pepper. Got a bell pepper, don't need black. We don't eat a whole lot of pepper, me and David both. We both just fine about it for the most part. When I make fried potatoes, I use pepper. And I don't like pepper in my pasta. I just don't, and he don't either, so that's the way it is. Way it goes. Now, some people don't use mushrooms in their, um, what I call it? <laughs> goulash. Goulash. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Well, my question is, you put all this stuff in this pot mm -hmm. that you talked about. Did you add water to it? No, I didn't. There's tomatoes. I don't drain the okay. corn. All you right. need the juice. Trust me, you're okay. going to need the juice. Well, that was my question. Have we you had might this? think it's going to taste like spaghetti, but it doesn't. It does not taste like spaghetti. Have we had this before? I can't remember. <laughs> He, he's we never watched me cook. And now that we're doing the show, he don't think he's ever ate it. I always do this just a one-pot meal unless you want some mashed potatoes or something with it. But hey, you got vegetables in there. And well, this ain't a recipe from the tin, in other words. No, this is my own yeah. recipe for many a years. Yeah, I think I remember it now. I don't know. Well, I'm going to put egg noodles in here. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to pour all of it over top of it. Okay. And let it bake in the oven. All right. You don't have to preheat your oven, but I, I guess I might go ahead and do it. Just turn it on and get it ready here in a minute. Let it start getting hot. You have to cook this close to an hour, just whenever your egg noodles are done. So this is sort of like a quick little meal. It's something that'll go a long ways for a family. And you know, if your kids don't like bell peppers, you can leave it out if they don't. The onions, I use sweet onions because they bother my eyes. Hey, I'm having cataract surgeries in March. So maybe it won't burn my eyes so bad. I got dry eye. I got everything's dry. Mm. My mouth. The dentist said, wow, you really dried out. I'm like, yeah. But I think it's, I can't 
Sin Sinjoin Sinjoin or something like that and you have an autoimmune like RA you can get it. So it's not confirmed yet, but I'm thinking for sure it's what it is. Well, you're gonna have one eye done and if it don't turn out good you ain't getting the other one done. Oh really? Yeah. Do you think I'd like to see better? It ain't my choice, it's well, yours. If they mess one up, why would you want to go have another well, one? Why done? would he mess one up? You're jinxing me. Well, I'm just saying if it did, I mean, you don't know what the heck they're going to do. <laughs> well, let's hope it turns out good. Please pray for me and pray for David, too. <clears throat> David's negative sometimes, a lot of times. It's just the way he is. Only when I'm tired. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can go some when he's like, don't go, don't go. Wait, and I'll take you, but yeah, he runs red lights. I do not run no red lights. Yes, you do. You've run three in the last year and a half. You don't even know where you're at. Yes, I do. And you, yeah, I was in the car with you and it scared me. You didn't run no Thank red lights. Thank God there was nobody coming. So that's proof you're mental right there. Proof you're mental. <laughs> Now look, this hamburger was on sale, so I got it. It was a three-pound pack or something like that. And so I want to use it up. Well. It's regular hamburger. I normally use chuck or ground round. It does smell good. It's and it kind of. good too. Won't you stir it since you're over there? And it kind of smells like, sort of like your daddy's. Stew. Now look, I did use a half a can of V8 because I might need a little more juice. And I haven't used it all because I may not need it. Okay, so you did add a little something extra to it. Well, I forgot. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. Don't worry. You know, after I put the tomatoes and stuff, some tomatoes is just all juice and some of it's good. So I used Kroger brand and they're, they're okay. They did, they're not juicy. You know, by the time stuff cooks out, though, it cooks the liquid out. That's why I didn't add the whole can. And don't drain your corn. Or if you do drain your corn, put it, put the water in there with your corn because you're going to need it. Or you're going to have to have the whole can of that. But the corn juice is good in there because you need the flavor from it. I'm getting ready to drain this, David. You want me to do it? Yeah, we'll be right back, y'all. I had him drain it here so he wouldn't throw it all out in the trash, but I'm going to move it so it won't get dusty. Ew. I told you it was regular burger, which is 73, whatever. It's a 20 sam or whatever percent grease in there. Okay, now let's turn this off. And I'm going to put the burger in there. So it's almost like a beef stew. No, it ain't. Well, you use chunks stew. of beef for beef stew. Well, hamburger stew in there. No, it ain't. It's goulash. You mix all kinds of stuff in there and make it some goulashy good. <laughs> David, you'll, you'll see when you get it that it is different. Okay. I put cheese on top of mine. I don't know if anybody else does or not, but I do. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put just a little tiny bit in the bottom of here. Where's your apron at? You know what? Where is my apron? I don't know. I asked you. I don't know. I forgot it, I reckon. Sometimes I forget it, and then I wonder how see? in the world I messed up everything. You're talking about me. Okay, you need a pack of egg noodles. Get whichever ones you choose, but this one is supposed to be... <clears throat> These are egg white ones, no yolk. Cholesterol-free, low-fat, all that stuff. I ain't never seen you cook nothing without the apron. I ain't either. I, I can't... <laughs> well, I guess that's the first time that I've ever seen. Yeah. You know what? I think I need some more. I don't usually cook it in this bowl. I think I need some more egg noodle. Hold on. Hold that thought. Where'd you get that outfit, Mrs. Roper? Well, there's something wrong with it. No? That's my skort. I got three skorts. Ooh, that's all numb. That's where you had that surgery on your knees. No, it ain't. My hip and everything's numb. 
the sound that they're screaming, and I can't afford to get that done right now. I've got two, which is not going to be too bad at all. <coughs> well, we're going to have a lot of doodles. I'll have to run some down the road to my buddy. Yeah, call that lady over the hill. Let her have some of it. Somebody's trying to text me on this thing. They are. Tell them to get a grip. I don't know who it is. Okay, got this all mixed in. Well, it does smell good. I have to say that part of it. <laughs> you like it too. Okay, I'm going to hopefully pour this over and not hit it? the floor. I'm going to mm. try it. You baby. can't do it, honey. Good gracious, that's too heavy. Well, I can always rest a minute. Oh, I'm glad I didn't put any more egg noodles in there. Because, look, I wouldn't have had room. You like a lot of meat and stuff in there. You're like, he's like, there ain't no meat. So now I put a lot. Ain't much meat. You think that's enough for an army. I know it. Well, I'm sorry to have to say, but I think we wasted some food. What did we waste? Well, we, I mean, we ate much of it as we could, but that stuff we did on the last show. <laughs> what did we do on the last show? Acre and squash. We didn't like the way it was, <laughs> but I've got a lot of um, so, good recipes now, so I'll do it different next time if we ever try it again. Well, we're just getting stuff out of that thing of mom, so... You know, who knows what might come I out of there. I made this for a while. Do I put cheese on it, David? I don't know, honey. I don't even remember it. I can't remember it either. Well, maybe you ain't never done it before. Well, if I went some overboard. Oh, I have done it before, I David. I is going like that down in there. No, they ain't. There's some boric acid down in there. They was trying to take everything over, and I'm like, I can't even cook without these crazy ants. So I put boric acid all over the place. I did see one on here a while ago, and I can't stand filth, filthy cooking and stuff, and to me that's filthy. Well, yeah, it might look a little look. bit rough, but she does keep it clean, but she it may look a little a little bit rough. I don't know, but, I didn't sweep this floor okay. today, and I need to mop, so. I'll get it for you. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and use this, because I think it needs it. What makes you think you need it? Because I don't see much juice down in there. And this has got to have some moisture to cook those pastas. Okay. Okay. So, we used it. I just don't know if we put it on there. I don't know, David. It's been no, a long time since we had it, but I kind of got the... I was... Seems like it's been about five or ten years or something, though. That's been a while. I was skimming through something, and I seen good. I'm like... Mm. And then I started craving it, so I'm like, I gotta make some. It's been a while. Well, I didn't know you was wanting to do this because I thought you was wanting to do some kind of old strange dessert until. He don't yeah. like the desserts, but I love them. I love it. Love I don't know. it. I just ain't there much of a person like to eat a couple pounds of sugar. He likes a couple pounds of salt, and I like a couple pounds <laughs> of sugar. So, you know, I could get diabetes, but you could have a heart attack or a stroke. Go figure. <clears throat> Right. I don't think we could go wrong if we put some cheese on it. What do you think? So it's cat. It turns it into a casserole then. It already is like a casserole. Some kind of goulash Why do you casserole. Think cheese makes it a casserole. I don't know. It's just like it does. I think. All right. We'll be right back. I'll decide what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. I decided not to put cheese on it because I don't think I ever did. Let's prove it and see. Okay. And we'll cook it, and then if he wants some cheese on him, I can melt some on it, right? You probably got some of that mozzarella. Mozzarella? Mozzarella? Or whatever you call it. <laughs> you can tell he ain't been around much food cooking. He always in his garage. So we're not going to put no cheese, and we're going to go ahead and put this baby in the oven at 350, probably take about an hour. Okay. About an hour. About an hour. He says about an hour. An hour. About an hour. I know what I'm going to do with this grease. What? I'm going to take it out there and put it on the firewood. 
I let it absorb down in it. You know what I usually do? I usually put a bunch of paper towels down in it, those dirty ones that you use on your table, sop it up, and I throw it in there, and you put it in the stove. Oh, yeah. Help start the fire with. Sometimes he's got to use uh, <laughs> charcoal fluid. No, I don't. Very yeah, rare. Yeah, you do. Only once. I don't never use it, but he does. He Just does. only done it once this year. This year? <laughs> And it's February. You still got a month of cold weather to go. Yeah, well, you know my skills of fire making is good. Yeah, for the most part. But sometimes it don't start. And he's like, Psh, and I'm like, are you going to use the whole thing or what? That's because I get mad at it. Because it didn't take the first time. <laughs> That's only happened one time this year. I got that all worse so it won't get dumped down the sink. It ain't going in the sink. Good gosh. It's going to go out there on the firewood. Okay, all sounds right. good to me. We'll be back in a little while, y'all. It's got 10 minutes left on here. Okay, it's been 45 minutes, so let's check it and see if it's done. Oh, it's heavy. I know that. should have got him to do that. I hope it's done. I'm going to turn the stove off. Woo, steam. Hmm. All right. Got a lot of corn in it, don't it? Well, the corn's supposed to be there. I've always put corn in mine, so I don't know. So. Well, let's see if it's tender first down I mean, there before I start dipping it out. Probably can call it a corn casserole. It is not. It's called goulash. And you mix stuff up like that and put it in there, and it's a goulashy good. Feels tender. Stick it down in the middle. Come here. Here, see if it's done. You like hot stuff. Is it tender? That ain't even too bad. Is the noodle done? Well, I can chew it. <laughs> it's not. You can't swallow it without chewing it. David, is that piece of pasta done? Won't you be silly? Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't know if it is or not. What do you think? I think maybe I better try it. Kind of reminds me of an inner tube from a bicycle. Are you kidding me? But not quite that bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to draw you some eyebrows on there. I'll try it again. Most of them's missing. Why? <laughs> That's really hot, David. It ain't going to hurt you. Mm. Too hot, what? <laughs> He's trying to... <laughs> well, I don't know. It ain't too bad. I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, well. He ain't even yeah. tasted it all together yet. Oh, okay. Might be better with a couple of slices of bacon on top. <laughs> hey, uh, you can put anything you want to in it, people. Anything. <clears throat> Look, let's give you all the extra stuff here. Oh, you give me all the stuff off the stove. Hey, okay, but I just now dropped it there. That's why you sprayed for ants. Now it's... You don't think I clean the stove? <laughs> I do clean the Well, we I... did see something yesterday we've never seen before. What's that? The ants were inside the oven. Yeah, they don't, don't go in the oven. Leave it alone. Oh, well, there There's was... no boric acid in there, but it's all around. Well, them. that's the first time I've ever seen them inside the stove. Well, they're there. Now, would you like to... Where's your fork? Right here. Taste it all together. Oh, I'm you more, taste it all together. Okay? I'm more like some bums off here for long. Some bums? That's cool. <laughs> I thought it was called bombs. Whatever it's called, I'm going to light them off. Bombs. Bums. Look, look who's here to try some. Nippy, are you hungry? Huh? Is Nippy hungry? Huh? Well, I'll give it a try again then. Well, here, honey, here. Or some pepperoni in there. I don't like them to eat off of the floor. No, I don't either. They got plates that I gave them and they can eat off of it. Well, use their plate then. Give them some. You need some salt? I think it needs a little salt. 
Do so, you? Is it good? Yeah, that was better. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got good. me a mushroom in that time. Some people don't put mushrooms, but I like them in mine. Hmm. You will put, make something like this mushroom? Well, I'm going to give good. it a thumbs up again. All right, good. Thumbs up. All right. I think it tasted good too, just that one pasta. But. Okay, y'all, I hope you'll give this a try. And like I said, I don't put cheese on mine. I got to thinking about it, but you can melt some cheese on it if you want to. It won't hurt it. No, it wouldn't hurt it. Maybe everybody don't like the cheese. You can just put it on there when you bring it out. Put it on there now and it'll melt by itself. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, I hope you'll give this a try. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And thank you to all the new subscribers. We'll see y'all soon. Bye. <clears throat>